Welcome to Fireside Chats with Mats. So tonight I saw a movie that I was thrilled actually to see uh, just ex explicitly to the point of showing photos of it that looked like they might have been the actual photos of... Um, but the movie was Late Night with the Devil and it was in theaters and I saw last night on a YouTube ad or something like late night with the devil. And I was like, Oh, and I, I, this minute I saw it, I thought, you know, that's, uh, like upon watching whatever of it was there, I, I, right after that, I went to find the tickets and I bought it, uh, or I bought a ticket and I watched it tonight and it, or I went to see it and it was awesome. It was so good. Um, uh, I mean, it was, you know, like, was the greatest horror movie ever. I mean, it was it was a pretty fun movie, but it literally like had Bohemian Grove references. They referred to the grove and they had the picture of like the owl statue. It might have been the actual photograph. <coughs> or if it wasn't, it was so close to the actual photograph that it like it was tough to tell without looking back at the original. And then um he talks about how, like, the host... This is minor spoilers, but, like, the host of the the TV show that is doing this Late Night with the Devil episode, um, like, that's... The movie is... Most of the movie is just footage, so-called, of that episode of this... Like, footage, for, as you would have seen it on TV, of that episode when it aired, that, where these scary things happen. And the host, they they pretty much explicitly say that the host was involved in some kind of like deal with the devil or something. And it had some kind seemed to have something to do with being in the grove. And there's literally a part in the movie where the host is there standing and it's gone from its, uh, normal, like TV sized, not letterbox, but like sort of old school tube TV dimensions, uh, aspect ratio to him in it like a regular aspect ratio of like a full you know over a widescreen movie rather and he's saying like stop watching it stop watching it stop watching it and behind him is like a swirling like sort of um optical illusion sort of swirl pattern and it's spinning as if to hypnotize you and it's essentially like the host in the movie, a host of a TV show telling you, stop watching this, <laughs> like just stop watching TV. And it's like, he clearly got some career help from like the government and the secret societies through this Grove organization. And so they're, and they very clearly imply that his wife who died of cancer, um, well, they clearly say at the beginning, they're like, she didn't even smoke cigarettes, but they clearly imply that over time, or at a certain point anyway, that his wife was killed um, as some kind of sacrifice for him having this TV show success. So basically, my feeling about it was pretty accurate because it turned out to have been really very truther, like very much like watching a Call Me Kinfolk video on YouTube or like, you know, just like literally it turned out to have been like, and right down to the truth or spirituality and stuff, it turned out to have been like, basically, this is a movie talking all about the conspiracy theory ideas of like, uh, people in the government going to Bohemian Grove, which isn't a conspiracy theory because they have the fucking footage of it, but people in the government going to cons uh, Bohemian Grove and, um, And people, people like big celebrities having loved ones sacrificed uh, for their career successes, which if you haven't heard about that stuff, just look into it. There are a lot of like just so many strange, untimely deaths all around celebrities. And it's like, you know, actually, the, I listened to an Eminem song um, the other day. I'm not sure what album it was on, but I listened to some Eminem song and Eminem literally said like, now I can get a I can get away with murder or something and like, you know, or something like that. And I think he was talking in terms of like now that he's met Dr. Dre. 
I think it might have been on the Marshall Mathers LP too somewhere, but wherever it was, he was saying like something like, now that I've met Dr. Dre and I have like all this success, I can get away with murder or something. And it's like, you know, it seems like there may be a lot of mysterious deaths that happen around celebrities of like their loved ones and stuff dying untimely deaths. So like, oh, of course, another untimely death. And it's like, that doesn't happen very often for like real people. Like, you know, maybe maybe one or two people in a given person's life has like some kind of untimely death, but you know, or at least in most, in, in most cases, at least as far as I've experienced, well, I, I mean, I don't know, but it, it just seems like, like, but they were clearly, they referred to it. I think literally one of the, like sort of the demonic characters at one point says like, says something about like, why did your wife die? Like, why do you think she died? It was kind of untimely, wasn't it? Or something. And then and then later, like, there's some kind of, like, party with, like, these characters and these, like, really creepy Illuminati masks, similar to from the sh movie Eyes Wide Shut. And they're all, and, and also similar to, like, photographs. One particular photograph of, like, a Rothschild party where someone wear, someone's wearing, like, a horse head or something. It's fucking nuts. But they're having some kind of, like, ceremony or a celebration or something for like or some kind of kiss off thing for this guy's like tv show his late night show and they say something they're like somebody says like oh he's sacrificed so much to get here or maybe not but in any case like seemingly the grand poobah guy who's like overseeing the ceremony uh says like well no you're he's he's only his his greatest sacrifice is just ahead of him and then and then I think literally like a door opens like ahead of like forward on in the image and he walks through the door and there his wife is dying of cancer on the bed. And it's like essentially it's a movie saying like all the stuff about like all the stuff people hear about with conspiracy theories is presenting it as if that's actually the case. And it was such a fucking truther movie. And I just thought just hearing like the title like Late Night with the Devil and some kind of like TV show type thing but with like horror stuff. And I think I, without seeing the Joker, I don't know if I would have jumped to this, but like having seen the Joker and seen like what that movie did so powerfully with like this talk show host character uh, and what happens with him and the Joker character, I mean, it's like, I think part of that, I think that was part of like one of my references maybe I don't know if I thought about it specifically so much, but like I thought back to that sort of 70s or like 80s maybe TV show style of the talk show host in the Joker movie and and that's what this seemed like. And it was like set in like the 70s kind of style. And again, like the aspect ratio was the more square as the closer to a square aspect ratio of like a TV rather than the more rectangular movie aspect ratio. And in the commercial breaks, because at the beginning of the movie, it says like, oh, this is mo most of this is footage or this the entirety of this feature will be footage of this episode that uh, disturbed so many people across the America. And like they were talking about like and they but they said something like and there will interspersed with like documentary footage. And I was like, oh, no, it's going to be some bullshit like history channel it, it's some guy like sitting there commentating on what happened and telling you what really happened and like they're probably going to do some jokes on that and it's like no actually it was just backstage footage as the cameras kept rolling while the show was on commercials <laughs> 